going to try to show you how the Harlow controller works with lead blinking hyperspin. So I've just set up a few favorites in here to, that I've set up to work with both of them. And right now it's just showing the menu so you can see the green, the red, and the yellow. So the green is game start, red hiding behind the spinner, which I'm going to move, is uh, game exit, and the yellow in hyperspin is favorite. So I'm just going to cycle through a few games. And when you cycle through them, what lead blinky does is it, for the first 10 seconds, you can set the time, whatever you want. It'll show you the controls for that game. And then once you click the game, it'll actually go into the game. So, and keep the controls for that. So let's cycle through a few of these here. <clears throat> so Simpson is here. As you can see, the controls are lit up for how they would be on a Simpsons arcade machine. Um, track and field, another one. As you can see, it turns the joysticks off, but only turns on the buttons you use. Uh, Virtua Fighter turns on the first player, second player, and coin buttons and start buttons and all that. <clears throat> Another good one. Donkey Kong um, puts the jump button and the move button. And Frogger, obviously, you only use the joystick for it, so it lights up the joystick and the start and the coin buttons only. And Golden Key lights up the trackball and switch. Uh, Left and right, and you can switch clubs. What else here? We've got Joust, the classic. Blue controls player two, yellow controls player one. Um, Miss Pac-Man, again, only uses the joystick, as you can see. Um, NBA Jam, lights it up for each of the players. Pac-Man. Punch-Out, lights, it's only one player game, sorry. It's only one player game, so it lights it up for the one player, and as you can see, after 10 seconds, it'll go back to the hyperspin controls. So, and of course, my favorite game, Teenage Ninja Turtles, lights up the controls as they are for the normal arcade, right in hyperspin. Pretty damn cool. So let's just go through here. Let's play a little bit of Virtua Fighter. So as you go in here, it, it demos what the keys are going to be, and then. <clears throat> You don't, have, you don't have to wait until it goes back, but I can select the game by selecting green here. And it'll load up the uh, Virtua Fighter. So the cool thing here is, I'll put a coin in. And the cool thing with Virtua Fighter is, they actually have flashing buttons, so you, you know if the player's open or not. So let's just use this guy here. So player one, move here. Mr. Ninja. As you can see, player two is still flashing, waiting for player. Oh, that was an epic fan. Anyway, um, something really cool too is let me turn the volume up slightly. So you guys can hear it. So when you pause the game, if it's enabled in the controls file, you can actually speak the controls. So watch, I'm going to pause the game. Controls, punch, kick, defense, up, down, left, right. So it will do that for every game that you have set up for it. And then I just exit out of here. So let's try something else that's a little bit more... NBA Jam here. Let's try that one. So we'll select it. NBA Jam. So let's do a pause again with the emulator and it'll describe what the controls are. Controls, turbo, shoot block, pass steel, up, down, left, right. Now it's a really cool feature. It's only available in main, but like it's really cool that you could it press the pause button and you know exactly what the controls are and stuff. So Exit out of there. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how LED Blinky interfaces with the Halo controller and the cool stuff you can do. So it's pretty much endless once you set up all the games. And a lot of them are preset, but a lot of them I like to configure them up my own way. So, but like, it's pretty freaking amazing. Like, it's up the controls for you, tells you what they are, and yeah. So that's one of the main reasons why I think LED. RGB LED should be in every single button and joystick because it lights the controls up for you and tells you exactly what the controls are. And it just looks really damn cool too. I'm just going to show you some of the features 
that led Blinky allows you to add to the Howler controller. So I recently updated my system with the new Howler version inside there and I got a beta version of the Lead Blinky software so one of the cool things you can do is you can actually set it to play to music so if you have like a jukebox or if you're having a screensaver on your arcade whatever music's playing it'll dance to that so I'm just going to do a quick little demo of that here just got to turn it on here we go what is love? Hey guys, so I just want to show you one final cool thing that the Howler controller can do that others probably cannot do. So I got it set up to work with um, Epic Pinball, classic DOS game. Um, I got the left and right flippers set up and <clears throat> as uh, left shift and right shift with no keys, it's just modifier keys only. <clears throat> and then I got the blue plunger key set up as space. And then also I got the accelerometer set as nudge. So. As, as I play it, when I nudge it, you'll see that it tilts, so here we go. <clears throat> so, just the plunger back. And you can set the accelerometer as um, sensitive as you want, so right now I got set pretty sensitive, so let's get it stuck here. So as you can see, I got a tilt just by hitting the table, because the accelerometer in there is mapped to uh, keyboard press Z, which in the game is tilt, so let's try one more time here. And you can set this up with future pinball or virtual pinball or anything like that, but I just like setting it up with Android, or with uh, Epic Pinball because it's an old DOS game and it doesn't have native um, joystick controls, so all I gotta do is map the key to the joystick to the uh, accelerometer and away you go so see another tilt so yeah I think that's a pretty cool feature that not many other arcade controllers have and that wraps up the review of the Howl arcade controller for now anybody has any questions just let me know thanks